there, welcome to my channel. I make vegan recipes that are delicious, easy, affordable, and are always gluten-free. One sec. <laughs> I like. Better. You know, sometimes you just need to switch things up every now and then. I feel like a whole new you. Anywho's, hi again. I'm Janelle, if you're new here. And if you're not new, well, hello again. Thanks for coming back. Today, we're gonna make three delicious and healthy vegan lunch recipes for beginner vegans and plant-based eaters. Each recipe is loaded with plant-based protein, veggies, and healthy carbs, and will make your tummy feel very, very happy. But before we get her done, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I would love you forever if you please subscribe to my channel with that little button down there. Your support really helps me grow my channel and helps me help more plant curious people like you. Now that's out of the way, let's make some lunch. Let's start with this super easy one bowl zesty black bean mash. Perfect for brunch or lunch. This makes for great meal prep as you can just whip up a batch at the start of the week and enjoy throughout the rest. For this recipe, you will need one can of black beans, drained and rinsed, half a cup of salsa, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon garlic powder, a large handful of cilantro, one tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of grainy mustard, the juice of half a lime, two green onions, and salt and pepper to taste. First, grab yourself a large bowl and mash the black beans with a fork or a potato masher, whatever works. Personally, I like to have about 75% mashed and the rest left relatively whole, just for some variation in texture. Next, dice up your green onion. Quick FYI, you can regrow your onions by cutting about two to three inches above the root and placing it in a jar of water. As you can see here, some of my other ones have been growing like crazy. Once that's done, into the bowl they go. Finally mince your cilantro, leaving the stems. Don't throw them away though. Use them in a pesto or freeze them to make a scrappy veggie broth. I'll link recipes for both below for you to check out. Next, you're gonna add the salsa, mayo, mustard, and spices and give everything a really good mix. Make sure there's no lumps or clumps of spices or sauce. Also, if you don't have salsa but do have fresh tomatoes or red peppers, use those. See how easy this is? Oh, and don't forget a few grinds of black pepper and a dash of salt. Time for the best part, eating, of course. You can enjoy this on a couple pieces of your favorite toast, scoop it up with some tortilla chips, or just eat it straight out of the bowl. Either way, this zesty bean mash is so incredibly yummy and you will want to eat it literally every day. Not to mention it's loaded with gut healthy fiber, plant-based protein to keep you full, and lots of delicious greens. Did I mention it's a total flavor bomb? I cannot wait for you guys to try this out for yourselves. Next up is our Asian-inspired tofu salad rolls with lemon tahini dipping sauce. If you've got a few extra minutes to throw around at lunchtime, definitely give this impressive looking recipe a go. Let's start with prepping the tofu. Grab yourself a block of firm or extra firm tofu and press out the moisture for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you've never pressed tofu before, it's pretty easy but does require a little rigging if you don't have a tofu press. Just remove the tofu from the package, drain the excess liquid, and fold it up in a clean kitchen towel. Place a heavy, flat object on top like a cutting block and a frying pan on top. You could also stack a few heavy cookbooks on top and it will do the trick. Leave it for about 20 minutes and when you remove it from the towel, it should be good to go. While it's pressing, let's make the marinade. Simply add two tablespoons each of soy sauce or tamari, maple syrup, sesame oil, and a dash of cayenne pepper to a jar. Seal and give it a good shake. Done. Next, cut the tofu block into eight equal slices. Grab yourself a large Ziploc bag and place each tofu slice inside the bag. Simply pour in the marinade, seal the bag, and gently turn and massage it until each piece of tofu has been coated. Place it in the fridge for a minimum of 20 minutes or up to overnight if you plan to make this recipe the next day. Once the tofu is marinated, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. On a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a baking mat, add your tofu slices evenly spaced apart. Bake for 40 minutes on the top rack of your oven and flipping halfway through. While that's baking, prep your veggies and your other ingredients. You'll need eight rice paper sheets, one and a half cups of spinach, eight nori snack sheets, three to four types of veggies, about half a cup of each. I used carrot, red onion, zucchini, and daikon radish, but you can definitely use whatever you like or whatever you have on hand. Once your veggies are prepped and the tofu is baked, it's time for the fun part, making the salad rolls. With a shallow dish or plate filled with warm water, simply run a sheet of rice paper through it, gently shake off the excess water, and place it on a cutting mat. Add your veggies, tofu, and nori sheet and gently roll up like a little burrito. By this point, the rice paper will be soft and pliable like elastic. If your first couple rolls don't turn out very pretty, don't worry. Practice does make perfect. 
Once you've made all your rolls, let's quickly make our four ingredient dipping sauce. In a small bowl, combine two tablespoons of tahini or drippy nut or seed butter of choice, two tablespoons of tamari, the juice of half a lemon, and one teaspoon of sweetener. Coconut sugar or maple syrup will work just fine. Voila! And just like that, you've got yourself some really delicious and quite pretty little salad rolls. By marinating your tofu overnight, you could definitely save yourself a few extra minutes of prep time the next day. But regardless, these crisp, fresh salad rolls are so full of savory, sweet, and salty flavor, plant-based protein, and loads of veggies. Did I mention how dang pretty they are? Perfect for any day of the week. These keep well in the fridge for up to three days, so leftovers can be a great workday lunch. Last up, let's make some loaded lazy noodle bowls. Who knew those cheap just add water noodle bowls could be so fancy? Let me show you how. For these bowls, you'll need two packs of vegan instant noodles of choice, two baby bok choys, two green onions, one small carrot, half a celery stalk, a two inch chunk of daikon radish, and one cup of dry soy curls. Let's start by soaking the soy curls. Add them to a large bowl and cover them with boiling hot water to rehydrate for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, chop your veggies. The soy curls should be hydrated by now, so simply strain out the water and press out any excess moisture with a large spoon. See how soft and meaty the texture is once they're hydrated? Ugh, just delicious. Okay, now empty the noodles into two large bowls and add all the veggies except the green onion and bok choy. Pour about a cup and a half of boiling hot water over top and cover them with plates or a baking sheet to let the noodles cook for about five minutes. In the meantime, let's really quickly sear those bok choys. In a hot pan, add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Add the bok choy and as an optional add-in, half a cup of frozen edamame beans. I always keep some of these high protein beans on hand for lazy meals just like this. Add a tiny bit of water so that they steam and cook a little faster. Saute for three to four minutes on high heat, stirring once or twice until just turning bright green. Okay, noodles are cooked, bok choy is sauteed, soy curls are hydrated. Time to load up these bad bowls. Add in all that deliciousness as you please and garnish liberally with green onion, cilantro, lime wedges, and lots of sriracha. Apparently I've run out of that, but eh, whatevs. With just a little mastery of timing, this meal really doesn't require much effort, and if you're feeling like a 10 out of 10 on the lazy scale, you could totally use pre-cooked vegan meat and veggies and skip sauteing the bok choy. All your veggies can be thrown into the bowl to cook in the hot water, as long as none of them are frozen. Otherwise, you might end up with lukewarm broth and undercooked noodles. Hot noodle soups are one of my most favorite comfort foods, and I'm just so dang happy that I can have my lazy cake and eat it too. And by cake, I mean soup. I hope you feel inspired to give this a go the next time a fancy cheap soup craving kicks in. If you guys have stuck around to the end of this video, you've really earned a special place in my heart. I really hope that you have gained some inspiration to make a few new plant-based recipes. Maybe you're brand new to being vegan or plant-based, or maybe you've been at it for a little while now, but you're just feeling a little stuck in the mud. I hope that you try some of these out and really enjoy eating them. I mean, that's really the most important thing here, right? If you decide to make any of these recipes and you share a photo or two of them on Instagram or Facebook, Facebook, definitely tag me at Steamy Vegan Kitchen and use the hashtag Steamy Vegan Kitchen so I can see all of your delicious and yummy recreations. I would just love that. And lastly, I do just want to take this moment to thank you once again for watching this video. As a new YouTube content creator, it is so important for me to show the YouTube algorithm powers that be that people are interested in my content. And one way to do that is by getting awesome people like you to subscribe to my channel. Plus, by subscribing to my channel, you guys are the first people to see all the new content I upload. So that's a win-win. Anywho, I love you guys. Thank you again for tuning in and I will definitely be seeing you guys in a future recipe video. Just kiss. <laughs>